So on this channel, guys, there's one particular car that uh, you guys have been like one of the most requested comparisons and, uh, you know, just really wanted to compare this particular car with other brands because of the good price, first of all. And so obviously here in the Philippines, we need that uh, g good ground clearance, right? And for sure, uh, that is why I can't blame you. Uh, this car is the uh, Toyota Raze. You have been uh, asking me to uh, compare this. And true enough, you guys have even asked, especially here from uh, Mile Hour 18. He requested this. Hope you'll also have a comparison review for the Raze variants. Want to choose among the different variants. So uh, like I mentioned, uh, this car is really a good one. And... Rightly so, this is one of the best options. I even included this on my uh, top five budget cars to consider. So what are we waiting for, guys? Welcome to another episode here in Project Gentleman. We are here. We love to talk about things that help us win in life. And today, I'm hoping that I can help you decide and uh, which one of the Toyota Race variants you, can, uh, you should choose and we'll end up uh, to win with that decision. Okay? So... Let's start with right away with a turbo variant. The top of the line is the race turbo 1.0 CVT turbo charged, but uh, 1.0 1.0 liter. But uh, number, but because it is turbo, okay. Uh, there's a difference with the turbo engine and the other counterparts for this. The lower variance is called a naturally aspirated uh, engine. So with the turbo, guys, uh, you can see right here. It, it has this 97, uh, 97 horsepower, sorry, and a 140 newton meter of torque. So just remi uh, remember that 97 and 140, we can compare that later on with a naturally aspirated engine. So you have three cylinders long, but good enough yan for the CT, and then 12 valves, a CVT, front wheel drive, po, and then your uh, fuel tank capacity is just 36 liters. For your uh, ground clearance, very good, 200 millimeters. It is priced at 1,063,000 pesos. And then if you want the white pearl with the black top, you're going to add 5,000 pesos. Okay? So uh, these are your standard features for the safety. Very impressive uh, six airbags, but only the turbo has the security alarm and the blind spot detection system, okay? And then next, you have a 9-inch display, very good, uh, with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, two-tone body color option, chrome finish for the door handles, LED headlights and taillights, front sensors, guys, and then 17-inch two-tone alloy wheels, very nice. Push start button as well, speed sensing door locks is there, Rear parking sensors, front, and then leather, upholstery, okay? And then power folding, side mirrors, leather steering wheel with paddle shifters. Very impressive. Even the Toyota Velos doesn't have that, the top of the line. And then fully digital instrument cluster, okay? For your reference here, the turbo badge on the side and your uh, engine right here. Sequential, yung kanyang turn signal lights. Auto-retract, yung kanyang side mirrors. Blind spot monitors, like I mentioned, and the 17-inch alloy wheels with the smart entry. Then, fabric plus synthetic leather seats. Spacious interior. Okay, very nice. Then, the 9-inch display. Rear camera, rear sensors. And then the fully digital instrument panel, full uh, like the push start button as well. For your color options, you have white and the black top option. Then the yellow black top and the blue black top. Which color would you like, guys? Comment below. So now with the mid variant, guys, the G, it's only at 936,000 pesos. So just under 1 million, guys, you have that good ground clearance and good space so three cylinders nga lang and 1.2 liter engine but i believe that's gonna be good enough there's actually sorry this is actually cvt 
uh, and then your horsepower and I mean the torque, right, is a little bit lower. If you remember kanina, diba, around 90 and uh, medyo malaki rin tong sa torque kanina, if you remember. So, medyo mas malakas yung sa turbo on paper. Okay, balikan na lang natin. Let me see, uh, let me show you. That was 90 and 140 for the torque. So, if you can see guys, very amazing yung sa turbo in terms of power. But these are good enough naman, I believe. So, yeah, uh, these are your st standard uh, security features, but only two airbags, guys. Okay? And then, uh, these are your special characteristics. 8-inch lang kanyang touchscreen display. Very uh, makapal yung kanyang vessel. Very thick ang kanyang uh, display, guys. And then, you have the chrome as well, the chrome ha door handles and the uh, LED headlights ka pa rin, but now halogen lang yung kanyang fog lamps. Just the halogen fog lamps, guys. And then, no front sensors, but there's a slot available. Climate control, push that button, speed sensing door locks. I was able to test drive this one, the G. I was amazed that there was speed sensing door locks when I, I, when I first drove it. Then, leather steering wheel, fully digital instrument cluster, foot lamps, guys, for both the the G and the higher turbo variant put lamps meron yan. The lower doesn't have that, the E. So fabric lang, uh, unfortunately, fabric lang yung kanyang seats. And then just urethane. Oh, sorry. Uh, leather, I believe. Yeah, leather steering wheels. This is the look. Okay. Sorry, uh, urethane, I believe. Uh, sorry, I just, please correct me if I'm wrong what uh, the, the G is. I believe it's just urethane lang siguro. The leather is just for the turbo, I think. And the difference is well, as well is you have this uh, red accent, okay? For the turbo, you don't have that only purely black. You makita nyo with the seats. But for the lower G and E, you have this uh, red accents. Okay, like I said, this is the, the screen. Makakapal na bezel, okay? Un unlike to the 9-inch of the turbo. But you have the push that button, which is good, at least. And then your color options, guys, red, silver, and dark gray. Uh, again, like I said, it's a bummer. Walang black color options, rays. But yeah, if you want the darker scheme, this is your option. Now, lastly, you have the lowest or the base form raise is the E variant, which I believe is very good enough for most people. It's only at 841,000. Very, very comparable to the likes of Vios. If you're, that's another story, that's another video, right? We compare that Vios versus raise. But like I said, this is a very good option for those who don't want the sedan. You want a higher ground clearance car, flood prone areas. You have that peace of mind. The E CVT is your um, baseline for your um, for your getting your Toyota race. So you have your um, difference here with the output and the torque. Okay, with the uh, uh, the difference as well as you have the manual option for the E. Okay, just take note of the difference of the output and the torque. Still 36 liter and still 200 millimeter ground clearance. Still, guys, you only have two airbags, unfortunately. And these are your key characteristics. Still the 8-inch touchscreen, but only halogen headlights and halogen fog lamps. Only manual controls. And then um, you have this uh, semi-digital instrument panel. And... Smaller 16-inch alloy wheels. And then, very big difference then is yung key type lang. Uh, ignition, manual ignition. Don't have the push start. Speed sensing door locks, at least is still there for the lowest variant. Rear parking sensors. No foot lamps like I mentioned. And only body color ng kanyang door handles. For the manual E, only 70, uh, 751,000 pesos, guys. But if you can see, amazingly, they have the same output and torque. So that's a good news for hindi ka mga if you just want to choose the automatic. You don't need, uh, you're worried about the torque. 
you're going to be good with either transmission type. So as you can see right here, this is your gray option. And then still your red accents for your uh, interior. Okay. So co color options, only two guys, silver and the dark gray. All right. So having that said, guys, overall, I think that the Toyota Race is a very good option. Those are the things that you will lose and what you will have if ever considering all of these three. So I hope this video has helped you decide. Finally, you'll be able to uh, distinguish which one do you need and you don't need for that amount of price. Thank you for watching, guys. Comment below. What are your thoughts? I can't wait to see you in the next video. This has been Ronnie with Project Gentleman reminding you that when we seek God first, that's when we truly win in life. All the decision-making, all the wisdom is going to come to us. Thank you for watching. Ciao.